just when the newness of your engagement ring wears off, you get to shop for another ring, the wedding band. Your wedding ring is the most permanent and visible symbol of your marriage, so it's something to leave time for and take seriously. All of these couples are looking for something stylish yet practical. Keep in mind, salespeople are there to assist you. Let's watch our couples put them to work. I'm Wes, um, I own a yacht management company. And I'm Courtney and I work for Special Olympics Maryland. We're looking for wedding bands that uh, fit our lifestyles, which for me, I'm a rugged, outdoorsy type of person. And I think that Courtney. I would be more of the traditional, classic, sparkly setting. <laughs> this is in white gold, but I just want you to try it on, see how it looks, and see okay. if you can feel the difference between platinum and white gold. See how high my setting is? Right. I feel like this is maybe too fat. You... I think this is a little bit too low. What we want to try yep. and do is make it look like a bridal set. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and take that off and let me show you some prong set things. This is one that's already set in platinum. It sits up a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. than what the channel set band had, but not as high as your engagement ring, so it doesn't take away from the actual engagement ring. That looks really nice. This is a little bit thicker than the first one, but it mm -hmm. doesn't have the interference of the no grain. It's more of a polished look to it. As much as I love the channel setting, I don't know if, I, if it goes with my yeah. setting. I think it just comes down a little bit mm -hmm. too far on the side. Try this one, because it looks like it may be yeah, the width that you're looking the... for. See, that's perfect. That's oh, funny. I like that one. Yeah. Oh, I like look. that one. So let's try this on. Tim, most of the men like the titanium. I think I'm more or less looking for either a silver or a platinum. Okay. Let's try this one. Nothing seems to want to go across my yeah. knuckle. <laughs> that's OK. The one thing that so... kind of concerns me about this, though, is that there's so much of a smooth, smooth surface area that it is going to get scratched up and it's going to really show. Can we compare one more? I kind of like that. See how it has like um. Yeah, that way. I don't know good. what's it's like um. What would you call this? Just it's just groove, satin finish. I like this. As we just saw, it's important to consider your lifestyle when picking a ring. Like Wes, who needed a ring that could take a beating. Next up, James and Sarah shop for diamond bands for both of them. I'm Sarah, I'm 27 years old. I uh, live in New York City with my fiance, James, and I will be attending NYU uh, Stern School of Business part-time. And I'm James. I am a medical student at NYU. We would like a band that matched the ring that he purchased for me. So a ring, a, a wedding band that has diamonds um, that circle the entire band, so I guess an eternity band, um, so one for you and uh, one for me as well, because why should Sarah have all the fun? It's really oh, pretty. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. That's beautiful. Yeah? It is beautiful. Do you have anything that goes um, with the diamonds all? The yes, around? we do have that available. Um, we need to order that, because um, as the diamonds go all the way around, they're custom made to your finger. So you have the half a carat, which is in between the first one, the one carat, and that's the quarter carat. This is the half. I agree with you. The other ones were a little too small. This is good. Right, that's a lot better. So what options do you have for sure. men's bands? OK. Wow. Oh, too like much, it? maybe? All right. I think it's impressive. Yeah, I haven't, we haven't seen anything like this for guys yet. That's a comfort fit also. It's made to fit comfortably on the finger. Yeah, but it's not me, right? Do you mind if we, if I try this one again? Sure. No. Let's see. Hmm. Wow. That's pretty nice. I like it. If, like James and Sarah, you decide on an eternity band, be sure to measure your finger carefully. Eternity bands can never be resized. see how Landon and Kim find rings they'll really love. Landon even creates one all his own. I don't want something on my finger that's gonna, you know, not reflect me at all. Yeah, I want mine kind of simple and, and maybe a little dainty and elegant. I don't want anything yeah. too gaudy. Yeah. I would prefer diamonds. It's within the budget. I, something that kind of complements this, but, you know, doesn't overshadow it. Well, Kim, let me show you a couple of options. The first option is a very simple band. 
It has princess cut diamonds all the way around, full of turnity. It's a little daintier, so it's a uh, very low profile, and we order it to size, and it fits right up next to your ring. It's really beautiful. That is beautiful. I like that a lot. It's perfect. It's like the perfect uh, height and everything. This is a beautiful band. This is um, also channel set, princess cut diamonds. That'll be nice complimentary to your ring. It does have a little bit of a mill grain um, effect to it, but it is really beautiful and clean. Because your engagement ring has a high polished finish to it, but it's really complimentary. <laughs> They're all nice. I love it. Well, let's uh, move on to your band. Okay. I kind of like either just you know the plain platinum. I kind of want a wider band because I have He's big, got big hands. hands. Okay. Yeah, you know, I don't want anything too thin. This is a Scott K band. Okay. And the wonderful thing about his bands are all handmade. They have wonderful weight to them. This is a um, company by the name of Memoir. Okay. And the uh, great thing about their bands is they you can create anything that you want. So if you like something that's wide, but you want satin finish, okay. you can do that. If you want that satin finish with that mill grain edge, you can do that. So let me show you this ring. Okay. It has a little softer edge to it. And we can do this in the, the wider width. And then let me show you two different types of textures. This texture and this texture are the same, except one has a rounded edge, and this one has a, a pipe cut edge, okay. what we call a pipe cut edge. So do you like the satin finish? Yeah, definitely the satin finish. Okay. But thicker. But maybe a little thicker. So we want this, but the little, a little bit more rounded, but with the mill grained edge on it. I really like that, uh, that width that we spoke about. And okay, great. I want to go and go with that. And you like yours, Kim? I love it. Oh, good. Perfect. Here are a few things to keep in mind when you hunt for your rings. Start looking at least two months before your wedding so you don't feel pressured into buying the first thing you see. Going custom, allow even more time. Also, make sure you pick something you want to wear for a while. Trends come and go, but your wedding band will be on for a lifetime. Let's see how the couples feel about the rings they've chosen. I thought that I would really like the channel setting um, and it just didn't, did not look good at all with my ring. And then we did find a prong setting. It just went, went really perfect. well with this. Looks really nice. It's really nice to know that we got this out of the way and yeah. just one less thing we have to worry about. It's exciting. The ring that I decided to, to choose was a platinum band with, um, it's got these minute little rivets that go completely around and it's got um, probably around eight diamonds that um, encircle the, um, you know, I guess they encircle the top half of the ring. Mine also platinum, uh, yeah. very, Simple, there's no engraving, there's no uh, mill grain. Um, also, diamonds, several of them. Right. And uh, just fits really well with the engagement ring. It's so nice that this has been the easiest thing that we've had to do with the whole marriage because this is really what it's all about. It's really, it symbolizes yeah. what's... It reflects our, I, I think like our, the rings we got, it, it reflects our styles and it worked really well. As for budget, try to set aside at least 5% of your wedding budget for your rings. To stretch your dollars, opt for diamonds only halfway around your band. Try white gold instead of platinum, and keep your engraving cost to a minimum as it can run up to $8 a letter. Now that these couples have found their wedding bands, we hope that you've picked up on some tips on finding your own. For more on rings, go to the knot.com slash rings.